Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? We're back at it again with another new bro tutorial. Now, I know um, previous videos I hovered over this wonderful overview and said we will get to it. Well, we're getting to it today. So, I want to talk to all of you about how to get your overview, how you want it, to how you have it now which is probably like this. If you're a new bro, you most likely have one general overview. Uh, they're all, everything bunched together. Um, I don't have the default one that comes with the game anymore. I've overwritten it with, with my own. But in general, there's a couple tabs that are in there. You might have your common, I mean, sorry, your combat, your um, warping out, I think it has a little plane on it. Um, I just put that as gates. Uh, you might have an all tab that shows you everything. Sometimes there might be kind of small, it might be up in a corner, but in general, your overview is that piece of equipment in the game that will make your life easy and make it efficient to where you could actually start enjoying your game and you can see all the intel that's around you in space. Because in EVE, we know everything is about what's around you in space and being able to navigate the space that you're in efficiently. So your overview helps you do that. So for basic starters, um, like we said, your overview is your lifeline. Um, and getting it organized to how you want your gameplay is essential. So we're gonna start off with the basics. Uh, as you know, you probably bounce between whichever tabs you have. And if you want to add a tab, let's just say, for example, let's say you're a miner. Let's say you like mining. So say, you know, I want a mining tab. And I just, I just wanted that just for mining. Okay, so we go to, okay. Now, once you have your mining tab, um, uh, you, you could go to filter. Uh, this is er, edit the current, uh, and that is the current tab that you're on. Uh, rule of thumb, when you're editing a specific tab, always click on it, and then you can edit it at that point. So, so we see here, um, well, this is overall all the tabs that we currently have on our overview. It has filters. Now, filters is wonderful. Um, default, a lot of times, everything is just check to on. So this one has a set filter to edit. It has a general all button. Now, I know when you click on that, um, there are some default ones, like um, general faction warfare, general incursions, I believe there's even one for mining as well. Um, that one's mine. But in but in general, you can always go through the default ones and see what's in there. Or you just keep general all, and at that point, we'll show you how to make it your own. Now, with our um, general all, we see everything is selected. See asteroids 36 out of 36, deployables 14 out of 14, entities 217 out of 217. So everything is on this tab in the game. Stations, PVE, um, pilots, I'm sorry, um, NPC pilots, uh, regular capsuleers. So we just want mining. We don't want all this stuff in there. So what you can do to make life easy just hit this button that says deselect all, blank slate, perfect slate. So you can start from scratch. So since there's a mining tab, we could go to our asteroids. This will have all the asteroids that are in normal space, asteroids that might be in your, if you're doing um, mission running um, with mining. Asteroids is the one you want. So you either individually click on each asteroid or the type that you will want on your overview, or you may right click it and put select all. And then all your asteroids will be added to this overview. Now we also, um, you always want to double check each tab because sometimes you might want something else along with you in that mining tab. Um, for example, something like this, you know what? I put cargo containers because sometimes I might jettison 
a cargo container. Uh, if we have our mining tab, we definitely want our asteroid belts in there. Boom, and there they go. See how that just popped up right now? So what's a mining tab without seeing all the belts in the system? So you just want to go down to each one, just kind of making sure everything is what it is. Uh, you even put the beacons on if you want. Um, if you're in low sec or no sec, um, they have the mining beacons for the Athenors. Um, but I typically do this in high sec. I don't keep the beacons on, but I will have that on like a different tab. Uh, you can put your compressed gas if you want. Um, let's see, harvestable cloud. Okay, that's part of mining. So we'll just keep going down. Always go slow. Most likely you will miss one or two here and there, but you can always add them on a little bit later. Like I said, since this is just for mining, uh, no need to put planets on there, no need for stargates, the sun. If you want to be very specific with your overview tabs, this is how you get it done right here. And then once you're content with everything that you have in there, you would just end up saving it. Uh, there's most likely probably a few more that you could probably put in there. Um, it's always up to you what you want to put in. Um, like I said, this is for customization. So just for this example, I'm just putting things just for mining. Uh, entity, I wouldn't be too worried about entities. Um, you always put the, the NPC uh, miners that are in system or the ones that are in the belts with you, but you will see them overall in general on the map. But you might not see them on the overview if you don't want them obstructing how far asteroids and those type of things are from you. So once you're content with what you have, um, you could go to your exceptions. Uh, exceptions are things that are kind of default in the game. A lot of times you don't need to play with these, remove them, because they're pretty basic as it is. Um, the green is always shown, the red slash is to filter out, and show by default. So most of the time, everything's kind of good. Um, when there's uh, a pilot engaged with you, that shows up always. Um, someone below negative five, you can shoot automatically, that always shows up, yeah, et cetera, et cetera. Um, suspect timer, um, people suspect criminals, they will pop up. Um, so that's just kind of default, and that will be on your, um, on your local as well. So, and then you have your appearance tab. Now, appearance is kind of what things will um, be and what color. And you always change the color of each of these icons as well. Um, change your color is your preference. You see, I have a couple of these that are blinky. Um, these are for, I have mines blinky for people that I could shoot instantly. It doesn't matter what space I'm in, high sec, low sec, or null. Um, I have that to where I won't have to double check. Oh, is it okay? Can I engage them? Um, but if you didn't want anything that blinked, you can hover over the section and you can right click and it'll say toggle blink. And see how that turns off. So, but I want the people below negative five. I want to be able to see them so I can insta shoot them. I toggle it back on so at least I know what pilots are what. And then, yeah, it has your um, background. Once again, you can change your colors for everything to suit what you want. Um, ships. Uh, this is just basically how how you will see the ship uh, when you look at the name. Um, the name, Alliance, short, short name on it, the corp ticker, all the information that's above the pilot that you're targeting. Um, so that's always available if you want that. If you don't want any of that, you just um, take it all off. You change the colors on them, the bold, italic size, underlined, and the size of it. Let's see. And oh, and this is an interesting one on um, crosshairs. Uh, a lot of times when you're new, the crosshairs, when you hit a target, will go vertically and horizontal across the entire screen. So you could disable that if you want. It's right here in miscellaneous, a button brackets and targets. And your history is basically all the stored um, overviews that you've used. And so you could always go back. If you say you're doing one and you mess up on one, you could go back and reuse one of your older ones that you've used before. So it will save it for you. Alright, um, so that's the basic of getting um, things set for your overview. Uh, it takes a lot of fine tuning, but like I said, you will have to usually always have to go through um, um, go through the let me get back to it, uh, the filters. 
um, very efficiently. Uh, like I said, you, the type shown, because um, you will mo most likely miss one or two. Um, usually I do multiples. I like things separated completely uh, from combat, um, combat without drones, um, as I have on, on this account here. I have my standard combat tab, um, which is uh, uh, enemy ships along with their drones will show up here on this one on my combat. And then my ships only is ships only. Uh, there will be no other filter for that, but just besides ships. Um, small, well, okay, sometimes what I'm, depending on what I'm doing, uh, I, I'll just have um, frigates, destroyers, and cruisers on this overview tab. If, in case I'm an NPC null in someone's home system and I wanna find a specific target, I just have that tab for that. Um, this com combat and C, ND is my combat with no drones. So this, so these two over overviews I have up at the same time. So if I'm engaging someone, like I'm, I have this Proteus right here, I've locked onto, which is my alt right here. I see the Proteus, and so the I see Proteus and everything they have out the Proteus and their warriors. But at times, um, when you're doing something, drones could get in the way of an overview. So that's why I have the second overview. It just has my same combat tab, just with no drones in the filter. So even if it's if it's like five pilots here and they all got five drones, this overview is going to be filled up. In order not to get confused and see where everything's at, I still have the just the five pilots would be here at that point. Um, and then, like I said, I could click over to ships only. It only pops up my the ship itself. Um, the small, I don't have um, T3Cs filtered for this, so it will not show up. So you always got to be careful with what you filter out of your tabs in case you would need them. Um, I have a tab for loot. So uh, when ships are destroyed, or I'm looking for wrecks, cargo containers, everything will show up in this tab only. That's the only thing that shows up. And if I'm doing missions, uh, missions, certain things with PvP, I mean, sorry, PvE, and there's, you know, like the... Um, you go to the mission sites and you know they got all the structures and everything and sometimes you got to destroy a certain structure all that stuff will be in this tab only so it's just for like my missions and uh, miscellaneous things like that or even if i'm doing relic data sites the uh, cans for relic and data sites will be in here um gates um a lot of yours will say travel my thing has like a little airplane on it i just I lost that symbol somewhere, and so I just named it the gates, and I have that on its own. So I might be thinking, hey, how are you getting all these over tab overview tabs separately? Well, I wanna show you that too. So after you kind of filter out everything and how you like, get these drones back in. So what you're going to do is actually pretty simple. This was a recent update, I'll say maybe a couple months back, and I loved it. So you could just hover hover over whatever tab you want or just click on it directly. Like I'll click on the warp one and you right click it. And then it says, go down to the move tab two. Okay, we only have the one tab right now, which is our one overview to get the new window. And it moves it for you. It's in its own window. And hey, now ain't that awesome? Then you could kind of move it wherever you want. You can do that with every single tab if you want. Or if you want to combine tabs, you right click it again and you say move to. It'll bring up all the windows that you have for overview. So I could either keep it in the same window, I can move it to a new window, or I could add it to the new warp tab that I just made. And you can do that with every single one of them. Make a new tab. Uh, put in a new window, new window, or uh, even if you don't like it in a new window, you just uh, right click on it itself and say go to move to, then you'll have all the options to where you can, might want to move it to. So I want to move the gates there, I can move it there. Or if you want it back to a new uh, menu, new window, you can take it to a new menu. It's a new window, I don't want to say menu, menu, window, same thing. Um, but at this point also, you can individually change your overview settings for each tab as well. So when you do that, you just click on your drop down bar and come down to overview settings. And then that whole section will pop up again. 
and you see how we were we're on the warp tab this is one that's highlighted this is what is ready to filter so you can also go down and filter to all the other ones as well if you want so let's say you want to do the ships only tab you just want to work on that one again you just manually go to that one and um, do whatever you need to do and then always make sure you hit save always make sure you save it uh, that is one thing always make sure you you save it so so basically at this point like i said you just fine tune everything that you want your overview to do how what colors you want it if you want it to be flashy and at that point once you get everything dialed in how you like for example this is how like i said i like mine and it works for me um, i have my combat well we already talked about this section and my travel my gates only i have my warp 2 sections this has um everything minus gates in here so if i walk into a new system uh, i need to warp somewhere i could warp to moons i could warp to planets asteroid belts uh, uh, custom offices etc etc i have my planets tab um, I do PVE, I do PI, so that's why I have planets only. Or if I'm in enemy space, um, I see their Ipithos running somewhere, I could easily track uh, where they went. Um, I have a mining tab only, uh, only asteroid belts. And I have a tab for stations and um, POSs. So that's how I have my overview set up. And like I said, you do this. You change it to your liking and how you want it to work for you. But in general, that's a quick crash course on how to change your overview and the basic functions of it. All right, if you guys ain't got any questions or anything like that, feel free to hit me up in game. Um, I have a public channel. It's called Dungeon Shack. I'll put it down below in, <clears throat> in the description. Um, feel free to... <clears throat> ask me or just throw it down in the comments of the video and i'm sure someone either in the comments that's a veteran will give some tips and tricks or you know even someone that's in space in your corporation or whatnot but in general uh, help is available if you need more help with your overview and getting it set up how you like all right y'all i hope this was helpful all right we'll see you out there in space have a good one